Hi everybody, happy Thursday, happy Thursday. Sorry I'm a bit late, we had a rooster related delay. <laughs> Might happen again actually, but hopefully we're good. Um, so I just wanted to give you a powerful tool that I like to use throughout the day because I know a lot of you tell me that you deal with a lot of brain fog and also the afternoon energy slump and probably a mid-morning energy slump. So my friend, I gotta tell you, one of the reasons that you're dealing with the energy slump is because you're sitting in a slumpy position. <laughs> Slouching is really hard on your body, it drains your energy and it actually reduces your ability to breathe deeply so when you're not breathing as deep, you're taking short and shallow breaths, which causes neck and shoulder tension, which in and of itself is tiring. But the short and shallow breaths mean you're not oxygenating your body as much, and in particular, that beautiful brain of yours. So it's super important. In order to avoid the slump, you gotta take yourself out of the slump, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So as you guys arrive, let me know. <clears throat> Today I'm sharing a powerful tip that you can use to prevent the slump by de-slumping yourself. <laughs> the energy slump that we all get in the morning or the afternoon sometimes because we be slouching too much. My friend, that's really what it comes down to is it's all about the posture. And when you can move yourself back into strong posture, out of the painful position where you breathe better, you have more energy, you're oxygenating your brain, and then you get on point with your ideas and you get more done and you have more fun. So the key is to either stand up or sit up, okay? So really sit up tall because when you sit, you tend to slouch and that's when we get in that slumpy position, right? That's when the energy slump happens is when our body is in a physical slump. We won't even get into the effect that your posture has on your mood because psh, they go hand in hand, right? So the more you can hold yourself in a strong position, the more energy you have, the more you send a signal to your brain like, oh, everything's okay, we're doing good, we have good breathing, you know, we're not stressed out because we're not breathing like we're stressed out. So everything is smooth sailing, okay? First and foremost, sit or stand up nice and tall. Ideally, you're alternating between sitting and standing throughout the day because the more you sit, the more everything slows down and the more likely you are to slump over, right? So standing yourself up or sitting up tall, you're gonna plant your feet down into the ground. You're gonna take a big breath in, put your hands on your belly and breathe out. Squeeze your belly in, do it again. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Perfecto. And now lift your chest up a little bit more. And here's the trick. You're gonna just reach your hands up towards the ceiling. So when you reach your hands up towards the ceiling, we are, are automatically lengthening up our spine. So you're squeezing your abs in, you're squeezing your bum if you're standing, or you can do that sitting down too. But you're really lifting yourself up. So you're getting this extension or lengthening through your spine. You can, if you wanted to, take your hands and interlace your fingers um, and point your fingers up towards the ceiling and just really try to stretch yourself up nice and tall. Imagine yourself like a string getting pulled towards the ceiling or one piece of your hair getting pulled towards the ceiling and reach yourself up as tall as you can. Pull your belly in and lift your chest up a little bit more and maybe you start to look up, pointing your fingers back a little bit. Okay, so you're not really trying to go big and deep into a back bend, but you're really trying to stretch yourself up as tall as you can. Notice how you can see more of my armpits now and as I keep lifting my chest and I'm looking up towards the ceiling, you might now yeah, be able to see my hands. But what I'm trying to do there is get you into a more upright position. Then bring your arms back down and notice if it's easier for you to breathe. <sighs> Try again, okay? so. Little breaks like that, little yoga breaks like that are so powerful for slump prevention, both in your body and in your energy level, right? So the more you can remind yourself, great idea, set an alarm on your phone um, every 20 minutes or so, every 25 minutes. I know that might seem like it's interrupting you, but it's not. You can read your emails, you can read articles while you're doing this, you can you know, get creative ideas because your energy flow is better throughout your body, and you should just feel better because you're not in that naggy, achy pain position. So 
that is our little mini yoga break training for this week. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Making sure to always stay in your pain-free range of motion and doing things throughout the day to boost your vitality so you can stay on point, so you can get more done, you can have more fun doing it, and then you have energy and time left over at the end of the day to enjoy the fruits of your labor and the impact of your work and your awesome, amazing self because you're not feeling like at the end of the day, right? So taking little yoga breaks is a great way to keep your energy up and prevent the slump by de-slumping yourself or de-slouching yourself, right? So I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you have any questions, let me know. And if you need more tips on that, I'm gonna drop a link for you to grab a free 10 minute video for you to take the achy neck and pain and achy neck and shoulder tension and throw it out the window and say bye bye to that. So you can keep your energy strong and get rid of headaches, get rid of numb and tingly fingers so that you're keeping your body healthy and strong and you are feeling good while you do it and you are walking and standing tall, which is just great for your energy, your confidence and the way you present yourself, right? Because your posture impacts how you feel and it's really important to take care of that. Now, later today, tomorrow, the next day, it's cumulative effect. You don't have to do a lot to get a lot of benefit, right? Don't wait until you're in a lot of ache and pain to get there. It's really important to just do these little things along the way. And what, what did people say? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure or something like that. I'm not good with analogies. But take care of yourself. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. All right? I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you soon. Bye.